Good morning, it's Coffee with Mr. Karsten. I gotta tell you, I'm a little out of breath. We've been on the road for the last couple of weeks as we've videotaped different parts of the ministry. We've talked to individuals that uh, have been in and out of this ministry, whether it's parents or students or, or teachers. We've talked about the different parts of the ministry and whew, I've replaced my to-go cup with my trusty uh, basketball coffee mug and so we're back uh, in my office here and today let me start with kind of recapping uh, the next coffees with Mr. Karsten are still gonna be on Fridays in the elementary library boardroom area and I want to put a couple of dates out in front of you Friday March 21st and Friday April 4th but let me go into today uh, our school board has set out what we call board ends and there's six board objectives goals of the school and I want to review all six of those today uh, we talk a lot about uh, school planning and monitoring evaluations and surveys uh, we definitely have yearly accreditation reports and long-range planning sessions with our board but really what it comes down to as we talk in these coffees with Mr. Karsten is those six board ends we're not choosing to talk about things that don't have anything to do with the goal and direction that the school board has set in this organization. It probably at times sounds like a business, and yes, it is a business, but even more so, it's a ministry. The makeup of this school is set up that the five Lutheran congregations, the Lutheran School Association churches, um, Mount Calvary, Concordia, Trinity, St. John's, and St. Paul's, they choose their board members. This is their school, and these six board ends are going to guide and direct everything that we do. So the very first board end that's in our policy manual is LSA students possess a personal faith relationship with Jesus Christ, a biblical worldview, and the necessary tools to impact the world for Christ. It's probably no coincidence that we've chosen this to be number one. Not just one out of six, but the most important board objective. What do we want to happen in this school? Education, certainly programs, a quality place to educate our kids. But when it comes right down to it, the only thing that is the most important, the only thing that matters is that they know Jesus Christ. If you break down that board end, possessing a relationship with Jesus Christ is shown in our school through the culture, through the classes, uh, as hopefully in every single one of our programs, we strive to bring Jesus Christ to our students. The relationship with Jesus Christ is the first part of that, but we want them to know the Bible. We want them to know what the Bible says, what God says is important in their lives. And really, a lot of times, that combats what the world is telling them and what society is telling them. We look at the people that bring this message. Uh, it's our teachers, it's, it's our pastors, it's, it's, our, it's our staff, it's the things that we say and, and, and maybe even more the things that we do. So we look at the, the, the kinds of, of individuals that are part of our organization that bring this most important board end. We've talked about um, this necessary tools to impact the world. We, we want these students to, to, to leave not just ready to go on to college, but to go into life and be able to make a difference for Jesus Christ. So board in number one, we want students to possess a personal faith relationship with Jesus Christ. So board in number two is LSA students realize the full potential of their unique God-given talents and abilities within the academic, athletic, artistic, and technical spheres and they're fully prepared for the next level of education or skill development. We've spent an entire coffee with Mr. Karsten in the past talking about alignment. And so alignment really fits with this board end. We want our, our students to know that they have so much to offer. It, it's stewardship. It's, it's the abilities and gifts that God has given to them. So realizing their full potential in every part of what's being offered at this school is really important for them to bring their, their best, their God-given talents in all of the areas that are listed in this board end is critical. But it's also that fully prepared part. 
It's that our students are ready to go on to the next grade level. They're ready to go on to the next art class in, in the next grade level, the next music class in the next grade level. It's that readiness and preparation, that intentional approach of what they do at each grade level so that they're ready to go on to the next. That fits with our technology. What are we doing in our early years with our computers and now our one-to-one -one technology with our tablets? What are we doing in our sports programs? All of those things are intentional of what we do at the early grade levels has something to do with how ready they are in the later grade levels. Other things that impact this, we're constantly looking at test scores. Uh, Stanford test scores, we've noted, are, are very positive and increasing uh, in many areas on a year-by-year on -year basis. We've looked now at the Explore and the Plan test as pre-ACT testing in our middle school and early high school years. And then we go into our ACT prep classes and ACT classes, which our ACT scores have been near the highest in the county these last several years. Other things that impact this board end, uh, our teachers, our instruction, the classes that we offer. Uh, we've offered dual credit classes both on and off our campus, AP classes, uh, just all of these things that align from early grade level to our later grade level. We want our students to realize their potential and to be fully prepared as they move through these academic settings and our programs. You can see that these board ends are all student focused. Number three is no exception. The LSA students are equipped with the life skills necessary for success both in terms of number one, fulfilling God's command to make disciples but as number two would say, as well as the ability to carry out their temporal duties. So born in number three, at a Christian school, first and foremost, our students wanting to be at a Christian school and a Christian school giving us the culture and opportunity to equip our students with life skills that they can then use to go out into their churches, into their businesses, into their uh, communities, and make a true difference in making disciples for Jesus Christ. We want them to be difference makers after Jesus has made a difference already in their lives through attending this school. We talk about living their faith, for them to know Jesus Christ personally first and then to go out and live that faith, fulfilling God's command to make disciples. We talk about leadership, we talk about values and responsibility we want them to live a productive life now and to be ready for that productive life into eternity. So to carry out their temporal duties, it's not just about telling others about Jesus. they got to be able to learn to, to earn a living now. So to be able to carry out their temporal duties in those value-based objectives like leadership, responsibility, we're equipping our students with life skills. Number four is going to get into the school. So the LSA is the school of choice through three things, academic excellence, cutting edge technology, and a developed campus. We don't want, and we are seeing in the Decatur area, we don't want just that LSA is a quality option. It is a quality option for families to consider. But it's not just that quality option. We're shooting for and moving toward in this board end that it is the most premier school, the premier school in the Decatur area. The three areas that are covered uh, to become the school of choice in academics, in technology, and a developed campus. We've already talked about alignment and the, that K-12 academic setting, the readiness grade level by grade level, but I think here you start now talking about the word excellence. Are we excellent? We're striving to be excellent through the faculty, which we have an awesome faculty and a dedicated faculty. But we want to make them even better, equipping them, improving them, continuing to bring in staff as we need them in other class areas to be the best at every grade level that will meet the word excellence. You can't help but talk about academic excellence when you talk about the families and the students. 
we couldn't do what we do without the families bringing their quality students and excellent students to the table as well. So being the school of choice also takes into consideration those families and those students. Cutting edge technology, it's obvious that we've spent a lot of time and a lot of dollars and a lot of vision to go to one-to-one -one technology. A student tablet in the grade level seven through 12 and that has such potential and it's not a sprint this is a marathon uh, we've just started that this year and to be able to eventually use them with textbooks on these tablets updated curriculum on a, on a more yearly basis than we ever have when we were purchasing textbooks it's actually going to be more cost effective as we would would have the textbook app versus a seven or eight year old history book for example um, our kids in this cutting technology, cutting edge technology, are going to have projects and papers, interaction with each other and the teachers in any part of this building and at home. So cutting edge technology is making us another example of the school of choice. And then let's just talk about the developed campus. Probably most noticeable has been a board that we've put together for goals of immediate projects and future projects. And a developed campus does talk about some of the more noticeable things that, that are already there in, in the area of sports. But if we talk about a developed campus, we have also added teaching staff in our fine arts, art and music. That's, an, that's a developed campus. We've added things in different areas of the building that have enhanced the, uh, the opportunity to bring the kind of classes that we want. Uh, we've remodeled rooms, we've added computer labs, we've uh, added uh, a second art room in the last couple of years. So it's not just about sports, but obviously some of those are very exciting as, as we look at some of the, the, the most recent developments and some of the things that are planned in our future development. To become the school of choice, to meet the needs of our students today, and to attract students that want to be a part of a school of choice academically in technology and on an awesome campus here on Mound Road, uh, LSA is shooting to be the school of choice in this board end. Board end number five talks specifically about the relationship between the school and its member congregation churches, uh, the five LSA churches. So the LSA develops, nurtures, and supports its relationship with member congregations. We've mentioned those five congregations in other YouTube videos, and we've already mentioned those today. We could not do near what we do without the support of those churches. I can't emphasize enough that this is their school. They choose the school board. A number of the financial dollars come from our churches. This is their facility. Uh, we need their support and value their support and appreciate the support that comes from the churches. It's their mission, and we are just humbled to be a part of an extension of those five congregations. This board end talks about making sure that that relationship is there, but to, to continue to grow it, nurture it, and support it. It's about relationships, communication, um, I use the word trust, and, and I use this analogy. It's, it's, it's like a family. Um, it's a mom, dad, and a couple of kids, but especially in the later year of that family relationship where some family members have moved, uh, gone on to college or gone on into their lives, and, and now there's some distance between family members. How does a family stay connected? How do they stay in touch with each other, supporting each other, and loving each other. That becomes the relationship between the school and the church. Fifty plus years ago, when these schools started in two of our churches, and 15 years ago when we moved into this building, that family analogy be, really became more clear to all of us. Uh, we've kind of started to have a couple of family members with some distance between us. So how do we create that, that connection and that love? We have our administrators come regularly once a month to our churches. Uh, sometimes that includes some of our music program. 
Our choirs, uh, both at the high school, middle school, and elementary levels, have, have uh, been part of the church's worship. Um, we see the churches using the school facility and the school actually going out and using the church facility. So there's a relationship there. We have service opportunities that our students and faculty have gone out and, and tried to serve and in, in a lot of ways have served our church congregations and some of their needs. We continue to share information on a regular basis, whether that's bulletin announcements or some video clips and that kind of thing. And, you know, probably most recently, just sharing events, uh, different church events that support their ministry and, and different school events like the auction or golf outing uh, definitely overlap into the groups of, of caring and generous supporting people that are both uh, supporting the school and the churches. Can't say enough about the individuals that come from, from many of those congregations. They're in our church volunteering, but then they're in our school volunteering. They're helping at our resale shop. They're, they're in our offices. Um, they, they have a special place for the, for the school in their heart. And as we develop, nurture, and support our relationship with our congregations today, we also, again, just say thank you. So let's just all snap our fingers, and there's an endless amount of dollars to support everything that we are doing and want to do. Ready, set, go. The LSA has a sound financial model, which takes into account the school ministry, the families, and the member congregations. Obviously, you can't snap your fingers and have as much money as you want. Keeping God at the center of all that we do, we know he will provide. He is providing in these areas. School tuition, we've been blessed to have a growing school. Uh, more students to serve does mean more tuition dollars to be able to support our ministry. We have church assessment dollars. We mentioned the relationship with our congregations, but the dollar support that comes from them is an amazing thing that supports not just their families, members of their congregations, but it actually supports all families that attend LSA. Out of a $3 million budget, uh, just over a million dollars comes from the five congregations, and that helps keep tuition where it's at. A third important prong in this financial support is donations. So let's just talk a little bit about those three things. But let's not lose focus, and maybe we can just kind of go back and, and show this board in one more time. We're keeping in mind the school ministry, school families, and the member congregations as we make decisions financially. And those three areas are really, really important. If you just stopped with the school ministry and said, hey, we're just going to take all the dollars and we don't really care what the, what the families think and we really don't care what the churches are going to think, and we just said school, 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 that would improve the school in a lot of ways, but it would be at the expense of two important areas. We've got to have the families in mind when we set tuition and, quite frankly, when we collect tuition. Uh, it's very important that we make this affordable, but it's very important that we collect tuition on time and be responsible for that sound financial model. Financial aid for families has been a very strong component uh, of this organization, and we will continue to do that. I would encourage families to talk with us, uh, file for that assistance if needed, and understand that the dollar figure that comes into tuition aid is about $300,000 a year. So we are committed to that, and more and more what we're seeing is our donations from individuals are making more and more of that financial aid possible. But that third part in that board end is the member congregations. They already support this, this school and this ministry to a very large dollar figure, and we cannot keep raising that, raising that, and raising that. So as we try to balance all these areas for the, for the reasons that this board end starts to address, let's kind of go a little bit deeper. 
Um, when we talk about donations, there are going to be ways that people can support us. And uh, events that we've talked about, uh, we, we've mentioned our auction, we've mentioned our golf outing. I mean, those are our two biggest fundraisers. And as people participate in those programs, those events, not just are they supporting the school, but they are fun, fun events. So we would, we would want to uh, put that on, on everybody's radar uh, as yearly events that support us. We uh, look at, at different program items, and we reference this board that uh, has some of the future plans uh, of the school and the expansion. But if you go to that board again, what you're going to see is different areas that can be supported. So financial aid is on there. Uh, making it possible for students to go here is the most important donation that I think we could ever receive. We can have the best school indicator. We can have all the programs that would make a difference, and we can have Jesus Christ at the center, which we do. But if we can't make this affordable, the donations to make this possible for families is, is just an, an amazing donation. Other areas there, uh, ongoing one-to-one -one technology donations uh, would support the technology that we've talked about. And then there's other classroom items. And I would emphasize that these gifts can be given at any time, but you're going to see some of the asks of ways to support the LSA. Uh, parents and grandparents could, could actually participate in our monthly donation program that has a different area uh, specified each month that a donation can come and support. Um, we send out a couple of asks per year. We send out a couple of mailings, to, I think two or three mailings to individuals, and uh, the response there has really been a positive one too. And I really think one of the most personal approaches to a donation lately has been memorials. Um, a loved one passes away in your family, and it, how humbling it, it has been to see that, that you want to name LSA, this school ministry, as a recipient of such a, a personal um, set of donations through a memorial of a loved one. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's heartfelt and, and uh, definitely appreciated in support, but we understand that um, it just didn't get any more personal than that uh, as, as you decided on that. We're also talking to families in kind of a long-range approach. We've had more and more families come and sit down with us and actually leave the school ministry in their will. And uh, to, to, to be a donation now is one thing, but to be an ongoing, uh, in, in a lot of cases, major support for years and years to come uh, to, to see uh, a future plan that that would include the LSA in it as you develop your, your last wills and, and estate planning. Um, let us know if we could ever sit down and, and kind of tell you how that's all taken shape. So again, the areas in this, in this model talk about the school ministry, the families, and the congregation, and those donation uh, support areas come from tuition and churches and donations. We have to balance where all the dollars come from, and we have to balance these three areas that are going to be supported all for a sound financial model uh, to help all families that attend LSA. You can see how important every single one of these board ends would be in a ministry like ours here at LSA. It's a roadmap. It's a it's a set of six guidelines that, that guide and direct everything that we're trying to do for the greater good of all students on behalf of the churches, this community, and, and especially those that are in the school. It, it, it's also a measurement. These six board ends are, are the six guidelines that mid-year when we do our parent surveys, we need to be looking at the, the feedback we get from our parents but we, we look at these six board ends to see how are we doing in those six areas. And you'll probably see more and more emphasis on how we survey and, and the, the items that we're going to be asking about to, to always be focusing on these six board ends. It's a roadmap to show us where to go in, in our decision making. 
but it's an evaluation of how are we doing in these six areas. We are here to educate, but we are here to make sure that students and their families are equipped in every way. I'll go back to that board in number one. I think it's a great way to wrap this up. The number one thing that is the most important is their relationship with Jesus Christ. If we can make sure that all of those other five board ends are in lock, step, and barrel with the Christ-centered approach that we have, we feel that these six will be a, uh, a guideline and a blessing that will bring a great education to our families. Let's wrap up. Um, the next Coffee with Mr. Karsten will uh, continue to talk about these board ends. Um, maybe we'll have some pastors, maybe we'll have some board members try and join us to just talk about some of these areas. We are going to dive a little deeper into the parent survey and just kind of see what, what our parents are saying, especially in these, these six areas, these six board ends. And, and don't forget about those Fridays. Uh, Friday, March 21st will be the next time that we actually sit down over there near the elementary library in our school boardroom. And we'll talk about uh, different parts of the ministry, some question and answer, and especially the parent surveys. So blessed to be here at LSA and to, to see what God is doing. Uh, we give him all the glory for everything that's going on. We end that way to God be the glory.